What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to set up ClickMagic campaigns with your website or funnel. Now, just so you know, if you're direct linking on any PPC networks like Google or Bing, ClickMagic campaigns is not the solution for you. You still have to use tracking links. But if you have a funnel, whether as an affiliate or as a business owner, ClickMagic campaigns is perfect for you. And I'll show you how, how to set that up right now. So here we are in our ClickMagic account. We will be using these four pages in Unbounce. So this will be our landing page, our thank you page, our sales page, and confirmation page. And when you're in ClickMagic, click on campaigns in the top left. And let's start by setting the code up on your site. So I'm going to click on this little wrench, click on website code. And the first thing we have to do is add this code to our landing page. This does not go on every page of your site, only the landing page. So I'm going to copy it, go to my landing page, go to JavaScripts. We can name this something like Click Magic Campaigns. You can add this in the head tag or the body tag. I like to put it in the body so that the page loads a little bit before the pixel fires but that's totally up to you. And then I'm gonna click Save, click Save and Publish. And while we do that, let's get the next piece of the code. So now that we've added that, we have three pixels to add. We have the action, the engagement and the sales going from left to right. So the action can be something like someone subscribing and signing up to your landing page. Engagement can be someone going to your sales page and sale could be the actual sale but you can set whatever reference value you want so you can have numerous pixels of each. So you could have numerous sales pixels, each with different rep values. I'll show you that in a second. So let's suppose our action means someone going to our thank you page. So for my rep value, I could say thank you. This is not necessary, but it is optional so that when you look at the stats, you will know what the action is, what this action references, okay? So I'm gonna click copy and let's go to our thank you page now and we're going to add this to our thank you page. Again, we'll name this Click Magic Campaigns and we'll simply paste it here. If you want to change the ref value, you don't have to go back to the code. You just change it here, you know, like thank the, right? Or whatever you want to add. You can just change it within the code itself. We can click save, we can click group publish. Let's go back. Now let's add the engagement pixel. So the engagement, let's say someone goes to the sales page. So from the thank you page, you have a, uh, you know, uh, it says, thank you for subscribing. Did you want to check something else out? And if people click this, let's consider that an engagement. That means they're engaged with the product. So we could say here, maybe sales page or something like that. Again, this is just for your reference. It does not matter what you put in there, but let's do that. Let's go to JavaScript. Now this already has some JavaScript there. Um, if you want to know how to do some of these cool animations like smooth scroll or the, or the moving animation picture, check out my Unbounce playlist up above. It will show you how to add the code for that. But for this purpose, um, we're just gonna put that here. Click save, click republish, and we're good here. Now let's suppose someone, when someone lands on the sales page and they buy, right? They actually buy, they land on this sales confirmation page. That signifies a sale, so we wanna put a sale here. So let's say this product costs $39, and let's suppose you have different products. Let's suppose on this sales page you had, you know, buy now for this product, you had buy now for another product, and buy now for product three, right? Product number three. In that case, you can put reference value, you could say maybe product A or something like that, right? That way, when you make a sale, you can see which sale is this for. Is this for product A, B, or C, okay? so. Let's suppose this is the confirmation page for product A. In that case, I'm gonna copy that, go to JavaScript, again, name this Click Magic Campaigns, and add the code here. And just make sure everything is right, you know, product A, amount 39, we'll click Done, we'll click Save, click Republish, and that's it. So we're, <laughs> we're good with the uh, code. Now we have to create our campaigns link, which is different than a tracking link, but let me show you. So we're gonna go to URL builder. Now we have to build our URL. So this is the URL of our landing page. If you added it before, it saves it so you don't have to keep adding it. Um, now, if you simply go on this page right now, nothing is going to happen. It will not track. You do need to pass these three parameters at least, okay? 
you don't need all five, you need at least these three. So you could say, for example, here they give you hints, Click Magic gives you a device for what you can put in. So for example, Facebook, you can put in CPC and you can put the name of the campaign. Like in this case, it's, what is it? Demo, get a demo, something like that, okay? Um, so let's say, yeah, let's say get a demo. Now these are optional and again, they give you advice for what you wanna put in, like do you wanna put in keyword or whatever it is, but you can actually put this anywhere in any one of these. So if you wanted to, you could actually put keyword here. Now in the next videos, I'm gonna get, get uh, go over how to promote this on Google Ads and Microsoft Ads. So you will see exactly how these uh, tokens work, which you should already know if you watched my Click Magic playlist, which I'll link up above. Uh, but basically they have tokens like this, like keyword or Bing has, you know, query string. You can use this. You don't need to use, um, you know, what they tell you, like Facebook, CPC, you don't have to. That is just a recommendation to keep things consistent as you will see, because you will be able to sort by them later on. So you'll be able to sort by, okay, Facebook, CPC versus email versus display, um, you know, creative or ad copy name, whatever it is, you'll be able to sort by that. That's why it's good to keep things consistent. But generally you don't need to put it there. So you could put, you know, keyword here and you can put uh, creative here for Google ads, it's creative for Bing, it's ad ID, Bing ads or Microsoft ads. Okay, so these are optional, you don't need to put them here, but let's suppose this is what we want, right? Let's suppose we're happy with this. We're gonna copy URL, let's paste that in, and let's see what it's going to look like. So we've done that, we've clicked, so we see here one visitor. Now if we go to our funnel stats report, we don't see anything yet. So let's go through the rest of the funnel and see what that's going to look like. I made these fields optional, so I'm just gonna click the button here Click the button here, okay. So we went through the entire funnel, let's refresh. And now we see all our stats, boom, at a glance, just like that, right? So we see revenue, profit, average order value, you know, actions, engagements. And if you want a more visual picture, you go here and boom, you see everything, okay? Now, let's see what happens if you don't go through the entire funnel. Let's go back into URL builder. We still have this, let's say it's now Google, right? Let's say keyword. Let's say hi, let's say query string. Okay, what, whatever it is, but these three are necessary for the link to work. If you don't have these three, it will not go through. So let's copy this and let's open an incognito window and try it here. Okay, that's just my uh, antivirus not allowing the secure link, that's fine. So now let's say we go here and we only go here so we don't purchase, okay? So what will that look like? Let's go back into campaigns. Now we see two visitors and let's go into our funnel stats report. So now we see that we have two visitors on the thank you page, two visitors on the sales page, only one person who bought, okay? So 100% of the people who came to the landing page went to the thank you page, which is true, two out of two. 100% of the people who uh, went to the thank you page went to the sales page right? And then 50% of the people who went to the sales page went to the product A page. Now these are stats in total. So 50% of the people that visited the landing page bought, okay? These are the stats that show how many people bought. And then these are the stats that show from each step of the funnel, okay? So as you get more and more stats, it's going to make more sense for you. But I just explained what, what it basically looks like. Um, so that's basically it. If you want to go back to the dashboard, you go over here. You know, the average earnings is 1950. Um, you can sort here. So for example, right by Google, and then you click the check mark and it's gonna sort by only clicks that came from Google or only clicks that came from keyword. Now keep in mind, as you add these into Google or Bing or Microsoft as they renamed it, um, these will be pre-populated. So instead of query string, which we added as our token, it's not gonna say query string. It's gonna show the actual query string, okay? And you'll see that as we as we get in um, in the next video, I'll show you how to use it with Google and Bing. But that's basically it. Now, if you want to delete anything, so say you want to delete this Google um, source, you have to select all time. Um, you have to select any here, and then you click um, over here and you click reset stats. Okay, so for Google, 
we're gonna reset. And now, uh, one second, let me, okay, so you have to click check mark here, so now it's on Google, and let's reset the stats for that. So now Google is deleted, and now we only have keywords. So that's basically how you work around with this. Uh, you can update the ad spent, right, so that it reflects more here, shows the ad spent. But that's how you set up ClickMagic campaigns, that's it. You see a nice visual picture, and check out my next videos, I'll show you how to uh, use this on Google and Microsoft ads. And again, because we deleted Google, it doesn't, it only shows up one now, not the two clicks, right? And by the way, you can also delete test clicks. So if you have test clicks coming from your IP, you can just go ahead and delete it. And that's it. Um, so if you have any questions, let me know down below. Check out my next videos as we keep going with these campaigns. If you enjoyed this video, you will probably like my Unbounce playlist and my Google Ads playlist, where I show you how to create campaigns on Google and take them to the awesome landing pages that we create at Unbounce. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.